Welcome. This is section eight, and we are going to be looking at Python and picture manipulation. In this section, we will be using the Python imaging library to do picture transformations and manipulations. This could include things like rotating images, cropping images, or even changing the brightness or exposure on an image. For this video, however, we will simply look at how to install the Python imaging library, or more specifically, we will look into how to use the command line tool PIP to install Python third-party libraries we might be interested in installing. And once we have done that, we will construct a simple script that can load and display an image using the new library we have just installed. Our first step in installing PIL slash pillow is to go to the pillow website on the installation page at this URL. For your information, the Python imaging library is a dead project. So a group of developers did a fork of the Python imaging library and called it pillow, which is currently being maintained and updated. So we want install pillow, which uses code from the old Python imaging library. So to install Pillow, you need to make sure that PIL is not on your system. Here's a warning sign that says they cannot coexist on the same environment. So if you have the Python imaging library, you need to remove it from your system. Next, depending on your operating system, there are different ways of installing Pillow. But the easiest way is to use the command line tool called PIP. So go to your terminal and type PIP install pillow. PIP should have came with Python 3.4, which we installed, or it may be called PIP3. But in either case, if you do not have it, you can go to the PIP website at this URL, download this Python file called get dash pip.py and once you have downloaded it you can install pip using python and run the script you just ran called get pip and it will install it for you very simple now if you are on osx like i am you can also do pip install pillow and if you are having trouble with that, I recommend that you run the following commands. Xcode select dash dash install and Xcode build license because it needs the Xcode command line tools to install the Pillow software. So let me show you guys how to do that. I already have the Xcode command line tools. So to install pillow, all I need to do is say sudo for super user do pip install pillow. And then I type in my password. And then it goes, fetches that third party library and installs it for me. If you want to check that it's there, type PIP list. And here are all the third party libraries I have on my machine, but one of them is called Pillow, and we can see the version number right here. Now that we have installed Pillow, we are ready to do some image manipulations. But before we do that, notice that I have a new shebang line. And this shebang line simply calls the normal Python interpreter on your current path as opposed to the Python 3.4 interpreter that we are traditionally using. The reason I am using the normal Python interpreter, which on my machine is Python 2, is because Pillow is much easier to install for Python 2 as opposed to Python 3, so we will stick with Python 2 just for this section. However, Pillow is also available for Python 3 for those of you who are interested. 
Now back to using pillow. So one thing we need to do is say from PIL import image. Notice that I didn't say import pillow. And the reason is for backwards compatibility reasons, pillow has kept PIL in the import. So now we need an image to work with. Well, I already have an image in my directory called the rows.jpg. And that is this image. And I want to display it in preview. So I'm going to create a variable called rows image. I'm going to say image.open rows.jpg. This will create a rows image object that I can call methods on. And one of the methods I can call is rows.show, which will simply give me a preview of what my image currently looks like. And when I run that, it opens the preview application and I see my rows. In this video, we looked at how to install the Python imaging library.